Every year around this time, we celebrate Groundhog Day. The one time a year we let a drowsy, hungry rodent give us a weather forecast. We took to the streets of Syracuse to find out what people know about Groundhog Day and what they don't. I'll be back in a second to debunk any myths and to give you a real forecast. How would you guess that Groundhog Day originated? I think some guy was probably really bored and thought, hey, winter's here and I don't want it to be anymore, so let's come up with a superstition. Do you think that using groundhogs is an accurate way to predict the weather? Well, no, but if I was five, I would say yes. What is a groundhog? A four-legged creature that's furry. <laughs> Who do you trust more with the weather? A man in a tuxedo holding a rodent or the weatherman? I'd say they'd be about equally trustworthy. Who do you trust more, Wayne Mahar or Punxsutawney Phil? I would say Wayne Mahar because when I was in Girl Scouts in like fourth grade, we met him and he was a really nice guy. So I would trust him with the weather. Can you spell Punxsutawney Phil? Absolutely not. What is the difference between a groundhog and a woodchuck? Uh, woodchucks chuck wood. Groundhogs come out of a hole and tell us that the winter is going to last six more weeks, which it always does in Syracuse. The woodchuck has like a platypus tail and the groundhog doesn't. Would you prefer an early spring or six more weeks of winter? I'm going to go with an early spring. I've had enough winter for this winter even though it's been short. Let's keep it as short as possible. Well those were some fun answers. Groundhog Day actually started as Badger Day in Europe. The legend there was if a badger emerged from its den and was scared of its shadow, don't plant your crops yet, it's going to be a cold spring. When German immigrants came to Pennsylvania, they couldn't find any badgers, but they saw plenty of groundhogs. Thus, Badger Day became Groundhog Day. So can the groundhog really predict the weather? No, it can't. Relying on a rodent for a long-term weather forecast is like letting a monkey pick the stock market, which, given the state of the market, might not be a bad idea. One of the toughest questions we asked was, what's the difference between a groundhog and a woodchuck? The answer, nothing. They're the same animal, just different names kind of like a cougar and a mountain lion. If you want to impress your friends though, you can learn the groundhog scientific name, Marmota monax. Finally, when will spring really start? Well, the short answer is March 20th, like it always does. But two-legged meteorologists say that our February and March are supposed to be warmer than normal. So this is shot for an early spring, and I'll take that over a hungry rodent any day. <laughs>